Hey lovies, welcome to my channel, Craft Away With May. Welcome my old and new. I'm so happy to have you guys here. I have an interesting video for you guys today. As you can see, it's going to be some interesting items <laughs> that we will be using. But I will go more into that further along in this video, guys. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting. Just note those comments are always, always desired. Never ever are they required because but i do love to chat with you guys after each and every video so i would appreciate it if you left me a comment and said hello guys hey lovies i am so excited about today's video i am participating in the just our imagination open challenge hosted by kathy joe diy brenda from rustic and liz diy's and the guest host is Lottie D from Lottie D Creations. It is an awesome playlist. And you guys will definitely find some inspiration somewhere. Now, I was shooting this at a different place, guys. So that's why it looks a little bit different from my normal platform. But we will be switching over in just a few seconds. I just want to show you guys the silhouette of what I was starting with. Now, I did take some foam board from Dollar Tree. And I cut out the silhouette of a harp. So we, in this um, open challenge, we always have different items to work with each month. This month, we had to work with caulk. We had to work with twine and dowel rods. So, <laughs> and you have to use your imagination. So you guys know, this is right up my alley. So I was like, okay, May, where are we going with this one? So... All right, so I decided <laughs> to trace out a silhouette of what I call this to be a harp. Now, as I look back on it, it looked kind of like a ghost or somebody doing the hang tin sign, a bad shape mitten. It looks like all kind of things except for a harp. But I'm not an artist. I don't know how to draw. So I just freehand it. I took a picture I saw and I caught myself tracing it out and everything. And yeah, it went left, guys. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I threw this away twice. Like I put it to the side twice. Like I literally, the first time I just threw it on the floor, I was so mad. <laughs> I couldn't get it to work. But I was like, no, no, no. I want to use it because it's going to have two of the required items in it. Now, I do have another project where I was able to use the items, but still, I, I had this in my mind. So, I was like, all right, we're going to keep going. <laughs> and I kept going, y'all. Oh, did I keep going. <laughs> oh, boy, I kept going. <laughs> have mercy. Okay. So, I was going to use, at first, I was going to use the other side, but then I traced it out wrong. I got sidetracked and I chased it out the wrong side. So then I was like, okay, well, I'll just do this side. It'll just have to be facing the other direction, right? So I put paint on it. Of course, you know, it warped and all that. But I wasn't worried about that because, again, this is just a fun open playlist, right? This is just for fun. So I was like, all right. So I painted. I did the tracing. I did not like it. It came out horrible, guys. I used the the um, furniture marker to do the outline around the... Um, outer sides of it it was all bad and then i was like okay i'm gonna take my wood dowels here and these are some wood dowels these are square shape i ordered these on Am uh, amazon and i went with these because i've had them in my stash forever first of all but i went with these because they're very flexible they're, they're really soft dowel rods so they're really flexible and you can do a lot of things with them so i was like okay this will make it easy adhering it to the foam board which it did i did have to break it up in pieces when i got to the curved parts of course but it worked but i could not the paint in the i couldn't hide that with the white paint so i ended up flipping it over and using the original site that i was going to go with and on that side i painted it in um burnt umber by apple barrel right so what you see i'm doing here is i'm just outlining it with those wood dowels I stained them with the burnt umber as well. And I mean, I had a really good vision in my head, guys. I was like, this is going to work. It's going to work. How hard can it be to make this thing work? Right? Yeah, it was way harder. <laughs> Let me tell y'all. <laughs> Who was it harder than what I thought? I bit off more than I could chew. I was chewing for a long time. <laughs> I was chomping, y'all. I was like, what is happening? 
happening here? Just stop, May. Just stop. And I did. I'm not kidding you, y'all. I did. So it's going to be some missed parts. And I came back. I pieced it back together. Hopefully, you guys can follow along. But you will end up seeing the final reveal um, afterwards. Because, like I told y'all, I, I tossed this thing to the side twice. I got... <laughs> I was just so disappointed. I was just like, it didn't work. It didn't come together like I wanted it to. But I I made it work. And it's not like perfect, guys. I'm going to tell you up front. It's not perfect by any means. Please keep in mind, this was just to use the required items for this challenge. <laughs> okay? Keep that in mind, please. Please be gentle with me, y'all. So what I'm doing, I'm just breaking it down here and I'm just kind of sticking the pieces in where they can fit in and everything. And it comes together. And then right here, you see after I paint it, you can still see the um, paint marker coming. I'm not the paint marker, the um, the furniture marker coming through. So I was like, forget that part. We're just going to flip it over and we're going to go with the back. And the back had got little scuffings on it and stuff like that. So I just gave it a little touch up just to make it all one color. And I know it's not like you can't really see the wood part of it, but you will be able to see it. Once everything dries, like it'll become lighter. And of course you can see, you know, you add paint to paper, it's going to buckle. And that's what it did here, but it's okay. Trust me, it's okay. <laughs> so next up, I'm I'm taking one of these um, stencils I have. It's a cherub stencil and i've seen quite a few content creators do this um, a good friend of mine brandy from the diy struggle she does this method i think kathy joe's done this method as well where you take the stencil and you use the caulk or spackling over it and it creates this um raised or 3d effect and that's what i did so i didn't trust myself before i started this so i did it on a piece of parchment paper and then i cut that silhouette out of the chair leaving the parchment paper behind it and so now I'm taking the twine and I'm making the strings for the harp okay <laughs> I know it looks so bad <laughs> oh it looked like a bad mitten <laughs> a bad baseball mitten <laughs> so I'm trying to fix it I asked some half beads here look at them strings like they were just going left right up down <laughs> my lord oh help me somebody bet i stayed the course as i often do <laughs> but i don't i mean it wasn't bad it just did not look like a harp i mean it was it was all funny it was it was all funny games but i kept on waiting, and you guys will see it at the end how it all came together because i added some other little stuff to it um, to kind of bring it together. All right, so next up, we're taking these little uh, trinket boxes from Dollar Tree. They come in three different sizes. I did paint them off camera and using the ink color paint, um, the color ink by Waverly and this wood block as well as these wooden dowels. The wooden dowels for this one, I think I picked these up at a store called General Discount. Um, I want to say it was like eight in a pack for like a dollar ninety nine or something like that, but the size of them were really good. I want to say they're probably about ten inches in length, but their thickness was a little bit different and they're very lightweight. So I'm staining this with the burnt umbra as well, and I'm just giving it good coverage and then wiping it down because I don't want it to be too dark up against that white. Uh, I'm sorry, up against the black. And so that's what you see I'm doing here. And I'm going to do the same for the wooden dowels as well. So once I get those covered, I'm going to take this terrarium that I picked up from Dollar Tree. I actually had it in my stash for quite some time. And I wonder if you guys can guess what I'm going to make. <laughs> this is for my cat lovers. <laughs> okay. So I'm taking some of the Elmer's uh, Clear School, School Glue. I put a few spirits of water in there. Probably about a tablespoon of the glue. A teaspoon of the water. I did two ish drops of this blue color uh, food coloring that I have and it looks really dark here but once I 
mix it all together. I'm going to pour it into the terrarium as you see I'm doing here. And once I do that, and once it starts to drain and dry, it's not going to be as dark as it appears in the cup. So my rule of thumb here is, you know, if you wanted good coverage, you know, the more drops you put in, the darker it gets. You put in less water, of course, you know, the thicker it'll be, so on and so forth. So it's just about your combo, uh, combination of things that you put together to make, get the consistency that you like. And that consistency usually works for me. And again, you can go up or down with the water to, you know, lighten it up, of course. And so once I get that covered, I'm not trying to cover the whole thing. I just want to cover it halfway-ish. So it, I, cause it's supposed to be a fish bowl is where I'm going with this. Okay. <laughs> and I forgot to show you guys that I did take my hot glue gun and I just put a few pumps of hot glue in there. And then I had it coming off the edge as if it was pouring out of the bowl. And now I'm just taking that leftover, um, product and I'm just covering the hot glue to make it appear like water and I really love the color on this I know it's like super super blue but I really wanted you to get that vision of water okay so then I'm stacking up the two trinket trays together to make it's kind of be it's going to be kind of um like a tiered riser if you will a small tier riser and I'm taking the wood dowels that I stained and I needed, I had only originally stained two, but I ultimately needed three at the end. And so I'm just putting them in a triangle shape here and I'm using my hot glue as well as my regular um, heavy duty uh, gorilla, oh my goodness, my gorilla glue, the heavy duty one. <laughs> Right, and so then I had this cat that these were new to my Dollar Tree, and I thought it was so cute. And this was the inspiration for this piece. Now, this piece is one I'm gonna give to my neighbor um, because she loves cats, and I just thought this would be so cute. And we call her Catfish, so <laughs> so I thought this would be so cute to give to her. And I just painted that in the white paint by Waverly. And next, I'm taking some of this furry yarn. I am still working off the same ball of yarn, guys. If you guys been here for the last few videos. I'm like, wow, like I've gotten so many projects out of this one uh, ball of yarn. And I'm just doing a, the going around the outline of the cat. At first, I was going to do the whole thing, but I then I later decided that I wanted to add some words here. And you guys will see what I do. But I thought this was so, so cute. And because it gives you that illusion of a furry cat, but it still looks really, really cute. Um, and I didn't think you would pick up the silhouette, but you do. And it's really it's really cute. I really like this. So once I have that going, I do give him a little bit of a haircut because he was a little too fuzzy and you could, you could tell it was a cat, but I still wanted to bring it down just a little bit, tone him down a little bit. And once I do that, I get it to my liking. And then this does not have to be perfect because again, it's fuzzy, furry, you know, all those things. And so right here, I took my stickers and I put got fish. <laughs> I thought it was so cute. I know. I know. And again, this is not some, these projects are not things that I probably would normally make, but you know, using your imagination and coming up with good items, I really like this thought of this. So for one of the projects I'm using the wood dowel, I mean, for one of the items that we required to use is the wood dowels. Now where I did the hot glue, I was supposed to originally put, um, the caulking there, but I forgot <laughs> and I did the hot glue and I was like oh well it is what it is you can only have one ter uh, terrarium so I couldn't go back and redo it so that was that but I still end up using um, the twine later on but once I got this together I really like the way this look it looks very chic and sleek I love this by itself and so what it is is I had put the cat on top of that square um, or that block that I stained earlier and then I'm taking some of these um, Jenga blocks or tower tumbling blocks I had in my stash I was going to use in another project and I had put 
uh, two sets of four together, um, but I didn't use them for that project. So I was like, okay, we're going to need to use this here to create a higher lift because when I originally test this out, I did not have this in a tiered formation. I just had it on a single um, trinket box, but I was like, oh, I think it would look cuter to add another box to it. So next I found this little a toy at Dollar Tree, the Finding Nemo. Nemo, I was like, oh my goodness, it's so cute. And his little facial expression <laughs> was perfect for this because what I wanted to do was make it seem like the cat was reaching up and pulling the um, the the fish bowl down. So I know again, just my imagination. <laughs> so. That's what I was doing there. And I love this. I was like, how much more perfect could this have been? But it came out so good. Now I'm taking some of these decorative rocks and I'm just tossing them in there because the liquid or, or um, product is still um, loose. So I added that in. I added in a little piece of um, succulent, put it in there because I wanted it to look like everything was falling over. <laughs> look at this, guys. It's so cute. Look at his little face. <laughs> I thought this was so, so cute. So to make this fishbowl look like it was leaning, even though it had it like where you can turn it to the side, that was fine, but it still didn't look like it was actually leaning. So I added another tower tumbling block underneath it to have it tilt over. And then I'm just going to have the cat like up there facing at first I was going to glue the parts together and I was like no you know just in the event like you know no it does you know she doesn't want it together whatever um so I get him glued on there then next I had these other little um package of toys and it was um it had different like the crab fish and all that stuff little things you would find in the ocean and so I was like oh I think I'm gonna put one at the bottom to look like one of the fish got away <laughs> Or trying to get away but some more of the little greenery that i had in my stash and there it is guys it looked really really cute i'm telling you guys i'm like this is really cute i love the colors together so where i'm gonna bring into the twine to this because this cat should have been playing with his little toys which is you know a little ball of twine and so i'm gonna take one of these table tennis balls i'm gonna wrap the twine around it and i originally did three of these but i ultimately ended up using two Okay, and I just placed them to either side of the little stand there. And guys, I really love this. So you have to let me know how cute was it. I think it was super cute. I can't wait for you guys to see the <laughs> final reveal. And I think she is absolutely going to love this because when I tell you that lady loves cats, she loves her cats. Oh my goodness. All right, so our final project of the day. Well, kind of semi, but our final project of the day, I'm taking some of this beautiful tissue paper that I had in my stash that I did receive from my good friend Brandy over at the DIY Struggle. And I'm going to take one portion. I believe it had one, two, three, four, five, six um, pictures on it. Huge sheet, gorgeous paper. I love working with it. And I'm taking one of these hearts that I got from Walmart. Now you can also use the hearts from Dollar Tree guys to do this but um i like the size of this one this one came in roughly about uh 10 inches i think if i'm not mistaken it came in about 10 inches and so and so i feel like it would just be a better fit um for the paper so what i'm basically doing at first i was just going to leave like a corner at the bottom um blank but because i am going to be bringing in another one of the cherubs from that stencil i did half of the heart and this is more victorian cottage style um um a, a cottage style piece if you will and i absolutely love it guys it really came out beautiful it really did and i love working with this paper i know i've told you guys a million times before every time i work with it i absolutely love it and so here is the um cherub now i was showing you guys because i did show you when i did the harp as well that you know that's what i did first on the um parchment paper so by the time i got here i did feel confident enough to actually do it on the project itself so that's what you're going to see i'm doing in a few minutes so what i'm doing here is just i was going to leave just the, that part blank down there but i was like it was just such a blank blank space like it was super negative i'm like i need something there so i took um the paper apart and I just 
you know, put it there and made it look like it was all one piece. And it really came together pretty. I love the color of the flowers in this particular um, print. So I'm just lining it up the best I could just to make sure it's on there. And I'm just using my Mod Podge, guys. That's what I do. That's what I normally use when I'm doing decoupaging. Adding in a little bit here and there just to fill in those blank spaces, like I said. And it comes together very nicely. Once I get that sanded away, look at that, guys. Like, I look so pretty. And again, it just remind me of Letters of the Heart, which is one of the little favorite sayings I love. I love that, Letters of the Heart. But Letters of the Heart. And um, so this is where I go in. I bring the stencil back in. Again, I just want to show you guys what I had originally done <laughs> with this. I lay the stencil down for the one I want. Then I put just a few pieces of tape down just to keep it um, still. And I gotta say guys, I love this method. I never had tried this before. I was actually really scared to try because I thought it would mess up my stencils, but this was super easy and it cleaned away very nicely, like super easy. Like I'm, I'm not even kidding. So I'm like this, I will definitely do this again. Um, it was a first for me. So, you know, just know that. And even like painting over it, everything, like I wasn't sure of how to approach it, but I think I did okay. And again, you know, still, still room for me to learn and grow. So you guys have to let me know what you think of it. And all I'm doing is just literally taking the cock and just putting it down, spreading it out. And it's so easy to work with guys. It's so soft, so supple. It just, it goes on very smooth as a matter of fact. And it almost creates like a cement um, look to it. Uh, our industrial look I don't know just very very nice very nice and I know you guys couldn't really see it there I think I try to hold it up again I did take my heating tool off camera of course and I just um, speed up the heating process to help it set a little bit but you should wait at least 72 hours to really work with it but I didn't have 72 hours to do that <laughs> So I'm just going in with some of my pink sky paint and I'm just going over it, giving it a nice distressing, really um, trying to capture the silhouette of the chair on here. And again, I know it's not like super visible here, but I promise you guys will get to see it in the uh, final reveal and it shows up very nicely. Um, and I even had thought about it that, you know, I probably should have painted it first and then went over in white paint. I think it probably would have showed up a lot better. But at the end of the day, again, I still think it came through very nicely um, overall. So you guys have to let me know what you think about it. And again, I just love working with this paper. It's so pretty. It really, really is. So next I'm taking some of these dahlias that I picked up from Dollar Tree. I like the colors. I know they're not roses, so on and so forth, but... I like them and the colors match really well with this paper and so or the overall project actually and next I'm taking some of my braided jute twine and wrapping that around the heart and just create you know giving it a border because it just looks so plain like the ends like the outsides of it looked really plain and so I wanted to make sure I brought it all together and just gave it that nice vintage look you know I just really really like this look like this is really pretty you guys I can't even I don't know this is really pretty it's a pretty piece <laughs> and so I'm clipping those flowers down bunching the two together and I just want to sit them off to the side at the bottom of this heart and then once I get them pushed over to where I like them and I didn't want them to be like far far over just real subtle 
with it. And so then next I'm taking some of this pink and white twine that I have in my stash. I want to say I did get this from Michaels and it's like a um it's like a pink and white stripe basically and I just wrapped it around my fingers and I just tied a loop around it and created a bow. I don't know what kind of bow it's called, but I'm going to just say it's a twine bow. <laughs> And I don't, I didn't even count if I had to guesstimate, I think I probably went around probably about six or seven times, maybe eight and just fluffed it out to my liking. And then I'm just going to go ahead and um, glue that to the top of the heart right in the center. And I love this guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so, so pretty. Absolutely pretty. Uh, all right, so this project goes with that project. So that's why I didn't say project that that was a final project, but this is technically the final one, but it is just so easy. It's one of the little mini, um, not miniature hearts, but they're like four inches, three or four inches. And they come in a pack of 16. I think I got these from Michaels. And I'm just taking some of that spackle and I just went across the heart and then I took a stamp that said love. I dipped it in some of the pink sky paint and then I just pressed it into the, um, not spackle, caulking or caulk. And then um, while it was still wet and left an indent there, kind of like when you put your, you know how when people used to write in the cement in the sidewalks before they <laughs> dry? I don't know if people did that everywhere, but you would write in the sidewalk your name or I love you or whatever, uh, your birthday, whatever you put in there. And that's where my mind went with this one, guys. And that's all I did with that. And you guys will see it come together right here during our final reveal, guys. And here is our <laughs> Godfish. <laughs> I think this is cute. I really, really do. Like, I love, 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 love the fish tank. Like, I love that. I think it is so cute. I love the cat. Like, I just think this is so adorable and fun. It's absolutely fun. And I now looking back at it, the bottom piece, the little round wood piece, I should have probably painted that in white or blue as well. But I did not think about it. I just thought it was going to be one cohesive color. And then here, here are the hearts that say love on them. I think this is absolutely adorable. I think it's very vintage, very very pretty and chic i absolutely love it and then here <laughs> oh my god here's our heart oh my goodness boy oh boy this heart right here guys just let me know can y'all see it does it, <laughs> it looks like a hang tin all right and to brenda and kathy joe and lolly thank you guys for hosting this event we appreciate it until the next video love you